Hello everyone, welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 The Lizard Men Campaign. This time we're going to continue working on building up my things like I have for the last few episodes, because it is quite valuable to, to keep your industry built up. I'm going to keep working on expanding this little army up here until it is a full 20 stack of decent enough troops. The milli decent enough for me can be very high, can have very high standards indeed. <laughs> Let's give you a card of Croxidors, who are not. Who are not. I was certainly saying his name wrong. I just cannot bring myself to care, though. <laughs> Alright. So, that was the work over there. Ah, we can do something in Qatar. Croxidor later districts, please. Those pay him money. Besides Xandri, where else did the Knights of the Flame own? Protector of, of the, the realm. realm. Five settlements. One, two, three, four. Where's your fifth settlement, knights? Also, there are a military alliance with Thagan's errantry. And the Greybeard Prospector, so that'll be fun. Where is your other territory, though? I'm not seeing it on the map. You have five towns, it says so. You know the wizard, you know that, 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 that. Where is town number five? No territory over here, no territory over here, no territory over here. What on earth do you own, Knights of the Flame? Did you invade a chunk of Bretonia? Somehow? I suppose I'll find them eventually then. Anyway. Krokgar is fully replenished, so... You know, these are only unpleasant, and they do have gold gem mines, which are going to be very helpful indeed. Also, they're going to be very close to Belle Alley. Actually, no. No, I don't want to do that. I want to deal with the forces in Sudenberg first, because that has a hero and a full stack in it, so I'm going to move Krokgar down here before I start actually truly moving around. My axe I may even more. bring Quetgar in his support, because he has some not bad supporting capabilities, especially with four cards of horned ones to go, and then I round my calf up your ass. You... You assault... You can assault garrisons and... and, and units decently well, and I will feel ha quite happy about being able to cheat with that kind of attack, because oh good god. Is Safari still its own place? Oh, I can't tell. This has been a mid turn, I forgot about it. Oh. Well. You attack, you attack needs some work, because right now it just says better single shot projectiles, arcane bolts should act like cannonballs and start punching through units. And Rays of Light should be explosives if they translate into, a uh, Total War Warhammer 1 projectiles properly. <sighs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Eh, but, yeah, right now. Anyway. Nothing too interesting happening this turn. Hmm. Actually, I should also look at the, uh, Thagan's Aaron Tree. Or I could just swing up and take them all up. Well, I mean, maybe. What does Thagan's Errantry have? Thagan's Errantry has three, so I can absolutely wipe them out. Alright. Can you raid? Ooh, ooh, there's a stack here. This could be interesting, actually. I might play this. There's a very likely to be a good Bretonia fight ever, frankly. Ah, and this would have walls, too, because it's a tier 3 town, and tier 3 Bretonia settlements have town. 
Petronius settlements is how they get walls. Protector of the realm. That could actually make this fun, though, because while the peasant mobs will go through, will be gone through like trash by Temple Guard. I might want to astromancy it, really. Alright, astromancy to Mantorax. Anything else I want to do? You're slowly being worked over. The Black Pyramid still has seven turns before I really need to start going, oh, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this. Camry still doesn't have a unique building chain aside from its primary one. The being occupied Camry. Nothing unique, unfortunately. And there's nothing really left to do. So maybe start the ritual, but again, I haven't secured this area. There are still things like Sudenberg in the way. I'm probably going to take Cobra Pass too, even though it is kind of hard to inhabit, because it does have gemstones, and those are pretty useful. I do like the description though. Gems hold great value for their precious and prized, with only the occasional daemon imprisoned within. You know, just the occasional daemon, nothing really to worry about, you know? Also, by the time I attack, I should have the sequence of martial excellence, which is going to make my temple guard so much better. What's in the turn? Population surplus in the jungles of the gods at level five. Ooh. I don't want to go there then, because getting any tier five settlement means I can unlock some of the really nice buildings. Also, you know what would be cool? If there was a way to tell your total faction-wide bon faction bonuses, like, not just the ones that come from events, but, like, I've got a bunch of those Sotek Shrines, that, and, I, and they'll improve my post-battle loot, but, you know, how much? Charon Car has been destroyed. I guess they pissed off Malekith? That's the usually re usual reason Charon Car goes... Crunch! And you're moving through my territory, spreading... Plus two corruption a turn. In fact, you seem to have a death hag in there somewhere. Caterpillar, how you doing, buddy? Wait, we need support for that assault on the altar of the horned rat. And there goes the vampire coast. No, they still have a stack right up there, but they're probably going to zerg in and die. Honestly, hinder replenishment is one of the more useless hero abilities. I've never really found a good use for it. Maybe against undead if they're in a war of attrition. I could I actually can see it being of use if they go for the tomb kings in uh, their homelands having their fluff and that every day they rise again. So, like, if you knock down all the Tomb Kings in their own homeland, and you don't, you know, kill, kill them, they go, mm, we are fully replenished now, period. Get stuffed. That would be kind of neat if they actually included that. Old world colonies, old world colonies. Rather, new world colonies, because I'm an idiot. The captain is probably going to assault their units. Frankly, I'm also having to wipe out that faction just because they keep going into my damn place. Stay away from my stuff, you damn damnables. I wonder if iron gives me anything as the lizard man. I don't believe I have any iron harvested, so if, so the mines might do something interesting. They mostly use gold for their weapon for their armor, though, because their scales are that tough, and they also have secret old one crap to do with that. So I'm just gonna check something. Yep. There we go. Greenbeard's prospectors moving around. Top knots at war with me. Vampire coasts. Waldekio Helschnicht, bearer of the obsidian blade. What do you try and do? Move down while raiding so you don't take any attrition. Okay. Eh. 
Honestly, this would just be very tiresome. No way. Oh, good god, you killed a lot of my dudes. Um, how about I ransom you? For an extra thousand gold next turn. Also, the Fortress of Dawn really needs to build up a uh, forge a little population growth, because ouch. You need a bigger garrison there and better troops. Yeah, that's gonna help a lot. Oh! Which Vol's Anvil do you want? You want the one in Nagaroth? No thank you, sorry. Not practical in this time frame. I'm never going to use Curse of the Midnight Wind, but let's give you protection of the old ones so you can at least resist magic a bit. It means if you get in a fight, you'll be a little bit brawlier, usually. If I switch you to normal stance, can you still strike and sue the bird? Yeah, let's put you in Astahansi. The Zoom Guard won't have walls, so Vanguard deployment will really, really help. We will have a Thane, which is going to really, really hurt, but... Ah, the Jungles of the Gods was Tor Serpindar. Yes, you're going to be quite happy about being a Tier 5, Serator. Alright, ten turns! I repeat, ten turns until the Fortress of Dawn can be upgraded to Tier 4. It's going to be quite nice because it's going to be an extra percent income from ports in all regions. Again, this is the sort of thing that I'd really like to see how it could stack totally if that makes sense. Uh... Ah, and I can work on the Monument of the Sun. Yes, yes. You are good. I also normal explore the Shrine of Sotak. If, I, if this isn't inhabited by Skaven, I have an entire new province to play toy with. Treasure hunt. If I enter the tunnel, I'll get XP. If I send scouts to investigate, they'll die. If I ignore the tunnel, it'll go bad. And if I collapse the tunnel, I don't know what happens. Well, let's go in. Zlatwask has killed a monster. Good job, sir. Lizardman, uh, Ancient Harbor, Saurus Garrison. Ah! Springs for the Eternal Life can be upgraded. Uh, money. Money. Defenses, because you're right on the front line, honestly. Are you? Now you're actually way the hell over here. So I'm fine, but still. I knew it was the case. Titan Peak. Ooh, I can upgrade you, finally. Now I have confidence they could take on a stack, even though Master Mundy's build is kind of. Yeah. Well. More Crocs Gores. So they're really good for holding gates unless you're dealing with large troops. Honestly, I kind of want to get a Bastilodon with a revivic. Revivification crystal for his army. Several of them, really. But I don't think that's the time. A holy cigarette and sulfurets. Ah, good. Better walls. The other works in sulfurets can wait for mm, later. For next week's July, I don't care. Two turns for the sequence of martial excellence because my 100% bonus wore off. You know, I'm gonna try something. <laughs> Nope, you don't like me enough. You talk! You don't like me enough. Alright, let's end the turn. Also, the Fallen Gates are going to be really hard to crack now, because look at that garrison. It's actually it's actually the same size as the mainline garrison, but it's got Temple Guard in it. I can say the Fallen Gates are better defended than the Mirror Pool of Tepok at this point, honestly. Of course, that'll change eventually. Bride of Madness! I didn't know Shadow Groth liked. took brides. He took taken for that sort. So, if you say so, lady. Alright, let's see how this goes, shall we?
All right, I forgot to move my heroes like a loser. Well, I'll be able to soften up that Dali army, and honestly, I kind of want to just because, well, dwarves are really tough. I have a lot of armor piercing on my temple guard, but dwarves are really, dwarves are really, really tough. So. You have a Star Dragon. Wow. They changed Star Dragon Breath, by, Dragon Breath, by the way. Used to be not very good against units that had to aim at the corner and just kill like two or three models. But now it aims for the center and tries to carve a path straight through, being significantly more effective at killing units. It's not quite as good against small targets like fellow lords, but it's just about as good at, good at killing monsters. So I'd say overall it's a buff to them. It's because they're better actually, you know, going... I swoop down and burn 30 men to ashes before I even strike. You know, that sort of simple thing. You know, I want to look at your items so I can see if there's anything interesting. Pipes of Piebald. I find amusing that a rat has a reference to the Pied Piper of Hamlin. I had to think about that for a moment. You thought I should know it because of the amazing Maurice and his educated rodents. Arspeth. What are you going to do, sir? Are you You're attacking at the Temple of Adeoth. You seem to have gotten your ass kicked. Nilosi, what are you going to do? You're going to try and march on Swamp Town. I say you're outnumbered, but Dark Elves have pretty high quality troops. But if you get... Although, if you get smacked by their hero, that's going to really screw you up. Yeah, the Marks of the Old Ones is definitely a scaven settlement. There's just no way for it to be anything else at this point. Cat Pillar has cut down some scaven. Good job. Rat Slayer, Cat Pillar. Zlanwapek has performed a rite of thingy. That means they have a slan. Interesting. Not really dangerous, but interesting. Ooh, I could check out Zlanwapek itself to see if iron does anything for me. That would really help. And the Empire has kicked the Dark Elves' asses. You can trespass all you want if you're going to kill these god's damned elves that keep wandering into my territory and spreading their chaos corruption. Seriously, guys, stop following totally not Slanesh that is Hakarti. these guys are moving near my settlements. I'm going to get hit by a lot of hero actions, but when you wipe out a faction, all their heroes come with it. Zek. Zar, zar, oh, you actually have a city left up there. Fuck off. The fact that I'm at war with you means I make friends. Alright, you're having one of your branch wraiths move over. I call them a dryad, but they're but dryads are actually a different thing. So, hmm. yeah, my keyboard appears to be funny. One moment. All right. Eh, you aren't winning, Soraya. I'm sorry. Poison attacks. How do I fit this in the Croc Guard? Because I want Croc Guard to have poison attacks. Oh, 
Good job, Kikoaka. Public order up, please. For the wisdom of Valea. I might not fight this battle because what the hell is with that force composition? The only challenge is going to be not laughing myself to death. My Look at that! For war. Look at that! Like, all right, this is fine. This is fine. Slayers are a bit odd, but it's fine, I guess. Grudge throwers? Like, don't get me wrong. Grudge throwers are good, but this mini? This mini? Sandry should put up a fun fight. Wait, I'll have to build a battering ram. Wait, do you count as a siege attacker? You do, because you're on a Carnosaur! Yay! I mean, a T-Rex, once again, proves the best solution to all problems. Wait. Alright, population surplus in the Ashen Coast. Right, I need to work on Sulfarets. Minus 3% upkeep for Pterodons, Bastilodons, Stegodons, Carnosaurs. Nice, 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 I am such a dork, aren't I? And I want Saurus Spears with shields for the walls. The walls don't care if you have shields. You don't want spears on walls. You know, you have to, like you're the High Elves or something. Hmm. Ah, you attack! Upgrade your geomantic web and upgrade your walls. Does a lot of these work? What? I saw a hammer there, ladies and gents. Oh, it needs its geomantic thing worked on. Okay, yeah, in that case, drop that. Messing Zlotland's Geomatic Web. The Geomatic Web is very important for the Lizard Man because it gives us more money. Coin! Coin! Wow! Whoa! 10% research rate faction. That's good! That's good! I'm sorry, that's good! I know it's a bit repetitive, but that's really, 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 really good! Now the Blessed Stegodon is a little better. Public order is honestly probably going to stabilize around here eventually. Wow, though, that was really, really nice as a discovery. Like, that was really good to find. To the point that I'm kind of astonished. Not in a bad way, of course, but I'm kind of astonished nonetheless. Yes, Flock of Doom! Lock of Doom is a pretty good, screw this group of weekly armored units. So it's really good for fighting archers. Colonize, please, get me the shine of Sita. Colonize, please, get me that shine. Colonize, please, get me all my shinies. Colonize, please, colonize, please. Colonization, so useful. Ooh, that's a good point. Alignment of crafting for more growth, please. Yeah. I, I wonder if Sudenberg is going to s sally against me, though, because they have seven the cards plus 18 cards, and I didn't really wound anything significant. Well, I have 20 cards, so it's 25 to 20. Just throw me some badly built, and I could probably butcher it if I actually played it. Anyway.
All of them really like me and all of them are okay with this other stuff. Okay. The lady will not protect me. Oh, right. They do have the garrison. There's a bit more here than just peasant mobs. All right. The Scarecrow banner won't matter because this guy is not mounted on a Pegasus or even mounted at all. It's kind of pathetic for a Bajonian. Well, let's go in and kill some Bretonians via throwing Temple Guard at them. I think you understand how that's going to work out. Frankly, I'm not really worried about this battle, ladies and gents. It's just... We're not going to really get a lot of chances to see big Bretonian forces in action. So, yeah. <sighs> I'm glad I don't expect them to perform well. The best performers I expect out of this are going to be their... Halberd deers, because they at least have armor piercing to deal with my armor, but they have like no archers, and archers are like the only good thing Bretonia has infantry wise. You make arguments for battle pilgrims and their silly high leadership, but. Alright, first up. Normal Saurus Warriors get vanguarded. Okay, so let's try something. Split their detention. Oh. It's stupid. Okay, well, whatever. Now these guys are all going to go in the same group, because I want them to basically go. Never mind. I've watched too much Star Blazers. Or Space Battleship Yamato, depending on where you live. Alright, we're control group 4 because I want to use you well. Right. Pause instantly. And. Control group 2. Move up. Or would it be more effective to move you like. Yeah, that seems to be more efficient. Less diagonals. Again, that seems to be more efficient. Where are their archers? What do they look like? How is their arrangement for their archers? Archers are there. Archers are there. Do they have them anywhere else? Archers are there. Okay. That's all their archers car archer cards accounted for, so... Swing around to there. You ladies, gen or gentle, genderless entities, because you're, you know, lizard men. Yeah. All right, you guys go and break the gatehouse open. Let's go.
former undead town, it seems, going by the, what they're shooting. Antimantorax actually match speed. Not bad at all. Horn ones, not bad at all. They're also giving zero fucks about the fact that they're getting shot to pieces because of that 15% missile resist and another shielded of 30%, so 45% missile resist effectively. The Lord is not quite so lucky, they only have a 15%. They do have that extra 20% ward save, so that definitely will help. Sword Their baseline swords, of course, have lovely 10% missile resist, along with their 35% shields. Richoni is very, very vulnerable to having having things brand up their ass like this. You, I want... Shot. My pterodons are clearly having fun. Looks like I'm gonna run straight into their halberd ears. That's gonna be interesting because I actually have decent armor piercing on those things. Asura. Get up your damn ladders! Just stand there like idiots getting shot. After order them to not get shot. Wait, is the gatehouse busted through? No, it's 83% though, so it's going to be busted through soon. They're just doing nothing to my pterodons, really. They're just having fun raining down death. Oh, target too close. Oh, um. Oh, these are anti-large, so I want so I really do want them demolished. Whoop! Oh, it bounced off the wall somehow. That's good timing too, because look who just came through. And the buffs go up, the assholes go down. Hit him! Rocks fall, you die. Skinks are having fun, shooting the hell out of everything. Oh, this card of source isn't actually doing anything. Get into that peasant mob then. I should have enough for another breath. Get in. 
The like, Petronians are just very bad in sieges in general, to be frank. Stuck in with a bajillion dudes. Those bowmen are getting slaughtered yes. as expected. Mm. We should get down there and get on those spe oh spearmen at arms. As expected, my pterodon riders are still shooting everything they can see. Pop the forbidden rocks to take damage to yourself. More power. You're trying to chase down those cavalry who are not having a good day at all. Oh my, they are not having a good day at all. All of my Saurus warriors over here are cheerfully cutting through my opponents like a knife through butter. Look at how that enemy count drops without even desert desertations or really shatterings. So they're just dying in droves. The ladies blessing Look at this little knot of fleeing troops. Yon Goliath Monstre Flew. We're advancing another unit of spearmen at arms in. That's gonna be problematic. Or not! My Pterodon Riders have killed, like, four of them, but ripped out a huge chunk of their health. I'm not sure their health was destroyed there. Good god. We only got 2,000 damage. Well done, my Pterodon Rider. Just wipe out that unit. Those pe that peasant mob is not going to kill anything, except for maybe one of those lucky. My temple guard is having no fights at all. This is a slaughter, slaughter, and nothing else. I'm just trampling these guys to the point that's almost cured, almost unfair. Chase them down. Kill the cavalry, kill the spearmen, as strange as that feels to say. Mandarax, keep recharging your abilities. What are you doing, Maniacs? You broke. We only terrified those guys. Now, get on those knights of the round, please. They're all targeting that tiny group, but they could be targeting this really dense mass. Alright, what are they doing? Shouldn't you be trying to sandwich those bowmen? Try and sandwich those bowmen. You're just capturing something. Don't worry about that peasant mob. Yes, you can get off the walls and kill that peasant mob. Please, spearman, run away! Whips! Yes, I know I'm absolutely pushed right now. All right. The only real danger here is that Lord. And I'm not really worried about him so much as sort of boy. The lady's blessing is lost! I cross yours! My Lord wants to take care of their paladin. Uncanny take. You can take care of that one. Ah! 
Oh my, they're trying to make a sol solidified line. Isn't that adorable, ladies and gentlemen? You're so damn cute. Look at that health and look at that morale bar draw. I, did I just break them with one spell? No, not quite, but I killed only six of them. I killed about half their health at the same time as killing about only six of them. Yeah, off the walls into those Yale men. The Knights of the Realm even can't do anything really. The Lance Formation only holds up in a charge, otherwise it's just sort of trash. Well, that lord is almost completely dead, and so is that hero. What broke you, by the way? Was it just pure damage being here an absolutely terrifying opponent? Oh, you had a 10% board save and a 10% physical resist. Oh, you had an armor destiny. That's right. That's right. You did, didn't you? You can just see these guys crumble. Oh my god, I just laid waste to that unit. Two wind blasts and oh god, look at all those corpses that they start getting back lost. up. They have utterly shattered. I have confidence this entire hostile force is going to die damn near instantly. Break or die, they don't have any unbreakable like flagellants, so they don't have to worry about irritatingly timed rallies. Where's that remaining 120 troops that are still holding? Like nowhere. All right, dead easy. Mostly dead. The kings didn't kill anything, but whatever. They're really more for open field battles. I should probably replace them with something better. Ah, oh, looks like one of my source go units got the uh, rank thing, gold rank. Huh? Dias killers with pole arms and a peasant mob. How the peasant mob pull that off? Good job, random peasants. You actually managed to do something. Yeah, they lost more troops than... Actually, no. 490, 946, that's... Minus 10, plus 36. 1,436 dead on their part, and 1,456 remaining. So, they started out this with by outnumbering me by quite a bit. They ended this with, um, <laughs> not outnumbering me and me having the town. There's not much you can do in that when you take that bad a set of losses. At least in my opinion. Yep. My skin killed quite a lot too, but he was the highest killer. That went to my horned ones, believe it or not. I'm kind of shocked at that, but they really got stuck in the scrum, and despite being cavalry, they were going up against Bretonian infantry, who are a gigantic joke. Sanuika! <laughs> At least I got a bunch of coin out of this, and the gold sigil sword! Not bad at all. I'll occupy it. Ah, that's a good one. Executioner. 
What else can I get you? Do you have Stand Your Ground? You have Stand Your Ground, you have Soulbound, you have a few other nice things. Let's start making you killy! Let's also get you Chain Lightning, because Vortex spells can be pretty good if they go in the right direction. They often Will you don't, take but me for a child? Baron Sagan is not too badly equipped, especially as Fyrus has a city watch, which means they actually have some decent cavalry to back themselves up. The issue with Bretonian cavalry is that they tend to, well, where should I put this? Bretonian cavalry tend to have the issue that they're very good if you want to sally out and smash someone to pieces, but if you don't think you can actually sally out and smash someone to pieces, they're really kind of crap. It's half -shorn. Struck. Let's see what the odds on this are. Oh, it's an open field battle. Never mind, they're screwed. Goodbye. Yeah, most of the kills here went to my artillery. I'm not even surprised. That's basically how it would be. They hammer my artillery. My infantry line, but they also kind of get ripped to shreds. Now I own Zutenberg, and you an administrator. Nice. Okay, repair you, demolish you, repair you. Anything else I can do in my provinces now that I've got a bunch of war money to, to, to burn? You attack! You need work! You need force walls! They're entirely made out of lightsabers! Actually, no, that'd be Mystic Dome, wouldn't it? <laughs> Silly me. I got the wrong thing that was made entirely out of lightsabers. Aren't I silly? Also, the fact that dwarven tools aren't made by the resource production facility irrationally annoys me. Does Lan Huapek have its iron mine? AI, AI, why you never build your resources unless it gets you straight money like the gold smelter? I'm going to try something that's almost certainly not going to work. Not as much. No, I am sad. Bah. Also, I expect Vulture Mountain to be the big fight, because it's got a garrison of Thunderers, among other things, they're going to punch through my armor. It's got a small army, and it's not actually, and it's a major settlement, so I expect you to put up a decent fight. Fires is also going to be interesting because it's big enough to have walls. It's got a 14 card garrison and it's got 13 cards myself. here. So I'll be very badly outnumbered and they'll have artillery and they'll have pox arrow peasants. As well as four more cards of infantry to try and hold walls against my, my troops. It's going to be a much more challenging fight than the ones I've had so far. Now I look forward to that, because in this game, at this stage, it's very hard to actually find challenging fights without deliberately gimping your armies. Also, oh dear, the heirs of Morcan are actually growing fairly quickly. Oh. Well, I suppose that's really it for this episode. Let's end the turn. Oh, I have commandments. Land of the Dead. Well, giving you know, the Black Pyramid of Nagash and that local populace thing, I'm actually going to not give you the Public Order one. I'm going to give you the Alignment of Order one. Because this way I can go... I don't really like your corruption stuff, mate. Sorry. You're nice. I have another commandment available in the Land of Dervishes. Do you have... You do not have Public Order issues, so I'm going to get you the Alignment of Crafting. I have an unassigned skill point for Crocsgar. 
Oh, I can get him deadly onslaught. Yes! Then I can start really, really making him a killer. Swiftness of Itzel is hilarious. If you want to run away, it's good, but it's also really good if you want to go. And then, suddenly, dinosaur. Or if you're just trapped in a scrub and want to kill a lot of things. Not even wanting to get out, just wanting to kill a lot of things. You know what? Next turn, the Secrets of Martial Excellence fi finishes. The Order of Lord Master is doing something. What is it? Balls of Fine now, but I do want kind of want those three elven colonies. That faction, due to having three elven colonies and several pr primary resource buildings, whilst being high elves, makes them very, very good at money. Clan Pestilence is starting their ritual. How concerned I am when I have so much ritual resource. And I'm finally starting the extermination of all other races on this damnable tiny continent. Do you have anything interesting? Blade of Realities, one of the most powerful weapons added. It's the Obsidian Blade Plus, 8% base weapon damage, magical attacks, which can be disadvantaged in some cases, I will admit, and plus six pr more armor piercing damage. So, pretty good, all told. I didn't get the rest of them, though, because I was thinking a bit about what I was going to do. Uh, Nagrond 8 Hat Griff, yeah. I'm going to make a bunch of attacks on me, but I really... You're attacking the pools of despair, really? Do you think you can actually take me? I just realized I completely forgot my hero that was up in Ulf 1. Well done, me. We need to remember that for next time, but I'm probably not going to, because I'm me.
sequence of martial excellence and spawn a stegodon. I can't get one in three turns. Well, that's going to be interesting to deal with for next time, however. Future me will have to deal with these problems. Alright, so... Had a nice big battle against the Bretonians. But not too much else of interest happened this episode, aside from me finally cleansing the land properly. So... If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, or in the threads and space files and sufficient velocity that will be linked in the description. But, for now, goodbye. Maybe I'll actually be able to conquer enough to start a ritual again. That'll be fun, because I'll actually have something challenging to fight. Yay!